How's it going everyone? Welcome to Budget Outdoors and Survival. Uh, haven't been out in a while. Had some sick kids at home. I was sick for a bit there. The usual life. Uh, so today I got off work and figured I'd come out to the teepee. Make sure she's still standing. A couple days ago we did get 30 centimeters of wet heavy snow so I figured I'd come out here and take a look make sure everything's good. So far she's still the same. So I'll be doing some videos out here this winter for sure. Um, I had planned on coming out getting a fire going maybe having some hot chocolate and stuff but uh, I don't really have time for that today so um, we're in the talks doing collaboration right now with a Canadian knife maker I don't know if any of you guys know who he is his name is Wally Hayes um, we have two prototypes. I only brought one today because the other one I already tried testing it out and I have folded the edge on it. It was just a little too thin. So we're doing some R&D right now. This is the other one. It's dirty. I've been hacking already. As you can see, it's nice and thin. 1095. It's got green micarta, rough micarta scales. Uh, striker on the end which works really really well especially paired up with the uh, frog survival ferro rod so like I said we're doing a little R&D going back and forth trying to figure out a really really good bush calf knife uh, I like how thin they are this one I've been beating on I'll do some more show you guys some of it here but uh, this one so far hasn't folded on me it seems pretty solid. Uh, I got a sh the sheath that came with it is leather. We are actually talking, maybe doing Kydex with uh, nylon on the outside for a pouch for a mini survival kit on the inside there. Um, we do have, like I said, we're going back and forth. We're trying to get everything figured out get all the bugs out whatever bugs you can have in a knife <laughs> um, hope everyone had a great long weekend it uh, was Thanksgiving here in Canada I know yesterday was Columbus Day down there in lower 48 so hope everyone enjoyed their long weekend ours was busy family and all that good stuff so I'm going to do a little bit of beating on my knife here. I uh, even got my Spechnoff shovel today. I'll show you, if you need it, what the shovel can do as per chopping and stuff like that. That's only if you, that's all you have when you're out in the bush and something goes wrong. I've heard before why you beat in wood with a shovel, blah, blah, blah. I'm only doing this to show you guys what these can, tools can do. If you're in a dire situation and say this, this is all you had with you, you're out trenching or something, and for some reason you didn't have a knife on you, this can get the job done that you need to. So I'll do a little chopping and whatever with this as well, and hope you guys like the video. I'll set you guys up here and we'll get at her. Okay, first. We're going to use the shovel. Like I said, this is just in case this was all you had on you for some strange reason. You just had a shovel. I 
I'd say that's pretty good for a shovel, don't you? That's uh, just a few swings. I really got to keep my head on the swivel here. Um, we are in bear country, but with the forest fires we had this summer, it's been pushing all the bears into the public because they got no food out here. It's burnt everything up. So I just chopped that. Again, this is in case you need it. I'm not saying buy a shovel and go out in the bush and beat on some wood. I'm just trying to show you this shovel's pretty mean. So yeah, you guys see me review this earlier. Um, these edges are still pretty sharp. That's why I pack this with me. It's always on the outside of my bag, so it's easy to grab. It's very sturdy handle. Um, it's a cold steel Spetsnaz shovel really really like it I think it was 40 bucks that's the other question why do you pack a shovel in the woods I always pack a shovel it's my personal opinion it's good to have you need to trench out something or whatever if you need to dig you got a shovel and this is small enough that it fits beautifully on my pack or even in my pack. So that's the shovel. Now, our lovely Wally Hayes prototype knife. Like I said, we are working on, I don't know if you can see, we got flat grind on this side. And your chisel grind on the other side I'm not really used to this like I said again we're still in R&D where he's trying out some new grinds and stuff but I'm not used to this grind yet it is really sharp it likes to bite in but if you don't even put pressure on it you can get nice little shavings with curls off of it Um, again, like I said, this thin, he's he, uh, talking about trying to get a bushcraft knife so you don't have this big, bulky, thick knife, which a lot of them usually are. So we're trying to get these as thin as possible without going too thin where you break if you have to chop something or baton on something, it's going to snap on you. So. That's the other test we're working on right now as well. How thin can we get a blade for a bushcraft knife without it breaking? So far right now, I don't know if you guys can see how thin that is. This is pretty good. Like I said, the other one we had was just a touch too thin and first chop I took, it folded. And again, it's a knife, not an ax. 
Um, I know there's choppers out there, but uh, we're looking for something that we can beat on. It's not too bulky. Got a decent tip on her. So you do some drilling. Didn't bend. Um, as far as chopping goes, not too shabby. And again, still sharp enough. Said I'm not used to this grind. It's weird. You don't really don't have to put any pressure on the knife at all. You put pressure on the knife. That's when it starts to dig in. Um, show you the sheath. Basically, just your generic leather sheath you got a ferro rod holder i gotta bounce some more ideas off of him uh, other than that that's basically what i came out here for oh apparently i'm bleeding um again i was gonna have a fire today and have some hot chocolate and stuff but I'm running a little late right now, so just got off work. I gotta get home to the wife, kids. The wife's pretty sick right now, so very thankful she let me come out and do this today. Well, didn't let me, shouldn't say it that way. It's just three kids at home being sick is not a fun thing by yourself. So, with that being said, we'll keep you posted. We have more coming up with this knife. Uh, we'll be packing this one a lot. Like I said, we're in R&D stage, so. This one will be packed with me everywhere I go out in the bush. See how much it takes. So far, I've beat on this thing for the last couple weeks, and uh, this one seems to have been able to take everything I've given. The other one, not so much. It was, uh, like I said, too thin. But... That's why these are prototypes and we're working on good knives here. Um, what else? The weather keeps the way it is. I might be able to get out and do a uh, canoe trip or something here before we freeze up. And then I just recently acquired a one person fish hut from one of the guys I work with. Brand new, never used. So, we'll be out doing some ice fishing and all kinds of goodies coming up. Again, sorry we haven't been out or put out any content in the last couple weeks. It's been a lot going on, the usual life. Good old life. Always takes over everything. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you like the knives. Again, I just showed you a shovel there, just what can be done with it. You don't need a shovel to be out in the bush beating on wood. Uh, just a quick little video again. I love it out here. Anyway, I should get home. Make sure the wife's all good and the kids are good. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I really enjoyed making it. I'm hoping, 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 really hoping to get out to do another overnighter. Sometime soon. You guys deserve another overnight camp trip here. Hopefully get one of my kids or everybody come with me this time too. I'd love to get the family out. The wife really wants to get out and 
test out some of her gear that she has. So we're gonna try all this out. Um, I'm not promising when, but I will say I will get out eventually. <laughs> With that being said, you guys, hope everyone enjoys their day. Hope everyone, like I said, had a great weekend this weekend. And remember, keep it simple. Thank you.